What is up everybody? Welcome to a, another tutorial on how to dedicate RAM to Minecraft servers. Now, I've like, since the last time I uploaded this, maybe like two or three months ago, I think almost three months ago, I've figured out some faults in my video and I'm here to clear them up. So let's just get straight into it. So, in the description, there are three links and one line argument. The first link is like the download for the actual server. So you want to open that up. So this is for the latest version. So the latest version currently is 1.14.4. Now you just click on the download button here. Now there is, you can also download, um, like older versions that you just have to download from a different website but I won't link that just because if I if someone gets a virus it'll be my fault and this is through Mojang who is like Microsoft now as well so you can trust them because they're Microsoft right but I guarantee you won't get a you won't get a virus because it's their official downloads so while we're waiting for this download, the second link is Java 64 bit. So you want to open that up and you want to go to the download section of the top here, scroll down and click see all Java downloads. And then you want to install windows offline 64 bit. So this just means it's 64 bit when like Java, it's what you have because your operating system nine times out of 10 would be a 64 bit version of windows 10, windows seven, windows eight, whatever you have, it's highly likely that it's 64 bit. So for some reason, everything's taking a long time to download, but I'll click it a few more times, see if that helps. <laughs> and the third link in the description is to Hamachi. Whoa. Okay. Discard discard keep I so it's downloading the third link is to Hamachi so that is what you and your friends who would be wanting to join the server need to install so this is this is just like how to set up a server first and then I'll show you how to dedicate the RAM to it so I won't show you how to install Hamachi it, it's simple it's next 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 done um, you can look you can look at many other videos on the internet on how to like use it but yep um, now both of these are installed you want to run the Java download and while that is running so welcome to Java you don't have to read I mean you should read the terms and conditions but it's a lot of pages so might just skip on that one also, new microphone, got it today. Um, literally, I I was gonna do an unboxing, but the footage turned to not as good as what I wanted it to be, so I scrapped it. But yeah, I got a new microphone, and I'm gonna be recording my Minecraft series. You guys should check it out, 100%. So you've successfully installed Java. You'll be prompted when Java updates are available, blah, 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 blah. Now you want to go to your control panel you don't have to do this, but I would recommend it. Go to uninstall programs and sort it by name. And if you have anything other than the Java one you just installed, so I'm not sure if you can see that properly or not, but that's Java 8 update 221 64-bit. So you just want to keep that. If you have anything else, just get rid of it. Um, so I'll just close that out. Now, all I have to do is do the server. So um, you want to create a new folder like on your desktop, in your documents, wherever you want. Just need to make a folder. I'm just going to call it server because that's what it is. And you want to drag the jar file that you just installed into that folder. Now I'm just going to quickly rename it. You can close out Google now as well. Quickly rename it just to server with a capital or actually with no capital, just because that's what my line argument in the description says. Now you want to just double click it, make sure it has like the coffee mug 
like make sure it's actually being opened by Java. You can do that by clicking properties and make sure it is being opened by Java TM platform SE binary. If it isn't, then change it to running with it. It can't be WinRAR, it has to be Java. If you don't have it, then just install Java SE binary from Google. Um, now you want to, well, now that it ran, three more folders popped up. You want to open the EULA, change this to true. So it's just saying that you are agreeing to the terms and conditions of Minecraft, basically. Just don't use this server to, I don't know, illegally do stuff and whatnot. So now you can run the server again. And I'm just going to get this ready so I can block whatever comes up just because I'm sure my IP will pop up. So as you see, this opens behind it. This should open. It's just, I'm hiding it. So you guys, so you guys, so you, everyone, sorry, not just guys. I'm just used to saying guys because that's the environment I work in. But all of you cannot see my IP because I don't want you to see my IP because it's my IP, right? So once it's, it just opens this, so it's done, I'm just going to quickly hide my screen. I'm still here though. Now in the bottom search box, actually I'll show you this again. Um, in the bottom here, there's like a search box. You can click that and then type in stop. So I'll just show you. So I type stop, see down there, stop. And then when you click enter, it closes out and it's gone. Um, so that just like stops the server from running. So you, you free up all your RAM and whatnot. So now your server is set up. Now at the start of the video, I mentioned that there are three like links in the description and also a line argument. This is where you need the line argument. So first of all, go into your server folder that you have, right click, click new, text document. I'm just gonna call it run because that's where you need to run the server. And now you wanna paste in the line argument. So I'm just gonna quickly copy it from the folder over here, like so. All right, so figuring this all out, XMS is like small, like the minimum that you can do. And the X, like MX is maximum. So minimum, maximum, minimum is one gigabyte. So that is 1024 megabytes. And for me, the maximum I put four gigabytes, which is four times 1024. So if you have eight gigabytes, it will be 8,192. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not really good at mental maths, but you basically, if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, say you want to dedicate eight, you just do eight times 1024. Or if you have, if you want to dedicate two gigabytes of RAM, two times 1024, which is, you know, 2048, 2048. It's a good game. It's on the app store. You should play it. But yeah, um, so in this line argument, you want this here. At towards the end of the second line, server.jar, you want that to be the same name as whatever this folder is. So remember how when I downloaded it, it had a one in like brackets. I renamed it so I don't have to rename it in here. So say if here, say if this was called Minecraft underscore server, if I can spell right, Minecraft underscore server, this here would have to be called minecraft underscore server dot jar and just to prove to you I'll, I'll keep it like this so it doesn't have to be server you can be whatever you want it just needs to match so now you want to do it well now what you want to do is click file save as change this to all files and rename it to dot bat at the end so it's a batch file batch is in b-a-t-c-h it's just like a, a little settings cog that you'll see here. I don't know if I can zoom in on that or not, but this, so that's, that's what it turns into. It's just like a, it's a batch file. 
So I'll change it back to what it was. And now what you want to do is just run that. So it does just have a black box. That's all it is. Um, and I'm just going to hold this over the front. So as you see, it is working. Now you want to allow access, obviously, so people can actually join your server. You're not going to get hacked. You're not going to get a virus. Nothing's going to happen. If you get a virus, then you would have already had the virus on your computer. There's no way that this can give you a virus unless someone obtains your IP, IP address, IP address um, that you don't know, or if someone someone hacked you, like. So that's, this is why you don't give your IP address to random people. This is why I'm not showing my IP address. So none of you can dox me and find out who I am, where I live and whatnot. So yeah, um, so allow access. So I'm just going to keep this up. I'm trying to find out where I can stop. Um, I'll quickly hide the screen, show up what I can show figure out what I can show and then yeah so basically I think I can actually show all of this because it doesn't show my IP uh, yeah I'm pretty sure it's fine so I can put it up here alright so this is what it does there's a bit before this but I'm pretty sure that shows your IP up there just basically starts a spawn, loading spawn area 0, 0, 0, 83%, 87% and then done. So what you can do now is load up Minecraft 1.14.4, which is what this version of the server is, because you can only join with the correct version. Um, there is ways of having like between this version to this version, but that's not like a vanilla server. This is just a vanilla server. Um, so I'm just going to unfull screen this so you can see a little bit better. But um, for future reference, if you want to reset your world, you can just delete the world folder and it resets. It just reinstalls it when you um, when you run up the server again. So you can go to multiplayer, direct connect, direct connect, type in localhost, all one word, join server. And as you see, in my little command prompt, it shows. Now that's my IP, so I'm gonna blur that out so you guys can't see it. And it's back. Yeah, so um, <laughs> it did just show my IP address. It shows whoever joins your world, um, it shows their IP address. So just don't reveal anything on camera. Don't reveal anything in video. But now it's working. So. Um, for your friends to join, you need to set up a a um a server on Hamachi. So you just need to create an account. It's it's free. You just have to literally just email address, password, boom, done. You have to create a network, and then your friends have to join the network. So your network ID can be like one two three four one, and the password can be one two three four one, for example. And your friends can join it. So say for example if you're the ones who so so okay so if i make it i have to create the network and for example jared would have to join the network if jared makes the server then he has to make the network and i have to join the network to be able to join his server i can't make the server and him make the network because he has to join my ip because this basically works as like a LAN somewhat sort of ish um, yeah so then to stop the server you can actually op yourself in the command prompt I'm just gonna sh hide my screen right now boom I'm just gonna scroll down in the command prompt like so and you can type in op i3ng and it makes me an operator and I'm just gonna hide this behind my Minecraft so now I'm an op so I can game mode creative and everything like that and that also means I can stop the server so I just type in stop 
and see it's server closed and in the background it is see how it's doing all this press any key to continue so I'm just gonna hide my screen and then does it show my IP anyway I can I think it's fine press any key to continue I'm just gonna click enter and it closes it so I believe you can modify that run folder and get rid of the no GUI so it still opens the other one up I believe don't quote me on this I want to see if it allows it say okay, so it does open both so if you want to have like how much RAM is being used I'm just gonna hide my I'm just cutting this you still hear my voice and everything if you want to see how much RAM is being used and also like have dedicate four gigs of RAM or whatever this is how you do it so there'll be the can I like scroll down no I'm just gonna have to block this off so again I'm just gonna close everything now so close close it's better off you stopping it but it, it's fine um so if you want to have you don't care about like that RAM usage thing um, you have what the what this is here no GUI but if you want both of them to be open you can just do this and save it save it as a dot batch file close it and then it opens up with both if you have no GUI gone so yeah I believe that is everything uh, it's a bit of a long video but I went pretty too far in depth I think there'll be some cutting and whatnot um obviously you saw but I just want to make sure that my IP isn't exposed just because no one wants to know your IP um yeah so I believe what haven't I said so this is important for your friends to join you when they join your network in Hamachi they need to right click your name in the network and copy IPv4 address and then they paste that into the join the server section and then they can join if it doesn't work you can you type in the IPv4 say it's like say it's like 255.saves saves that and then you can do like a colon or se is that semicolon or colon I don't know 25565 usually that works if you add a 255665 at the end um, then if not then you have to troubleshoot with each other and see what's going on try the other person making the server and you joining but yeah um, that's it that's how to dedicate more RAM to a Minecraft server that's how to set up a server and new microphone um, yeah that was pretty solid 18 minutes I hope you all enjoyed if you have any questions or any feedback any problems comment down below if this helped like subscribe um, share with your friends as well because they probably want to know how to make a Minecraft server because I would want to know how to make a Minecraft server <laughs> but yeah um, thank you all for watching and if you want to watch a Minecraft series that's basically almost daily go to my channel subscribe turn on bell notification stuff and yeah I'll be playing Minecraft like every day or every other day so yeah, have a good one everyone and I'll see you next time. Peace.